in show business, Arthur Askey. And he is a remarkable man. Leslie Crowther calls him the 77-year-old miracle. It is true. I'll tell you one thing, though. He's a very generous man. Never worries about billing. Always rings me up and says, Dickie, I don't care about the billing as long as it is in alphabetical order. <laughs> and he is apt to appear before your very eyes. <laughs> Oh dear. Hello, Playwright. Now, this is where the show picks up. <laughs> anyway, it's lovely. Hey, what were you saying about alphabetical order? AA. Oh, yeah. I've got that on the front of my car. Well, we all belong to the AA. No, they're on the, on the number plates, you see. Oh, yeah. All the big heads in show business have got their initials on the number plates. Right. Yeah. Max Bygraves, MV. Mm -hmm. Harry Seacom, HS. Bruce Forsyth, BF. <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, Oh, I'm not allowed to do the Valdunican gag, am I? Not that kind of a show. <laughs> anyway, what are we going to do tonight by way of a continental novelty? Well, I figure it this way. If you had two singers on shows, together, they would sit on stools just like this and sing a medley of their best songs. Why don't we do a medley of our best jokes? A oh, good idea. <laughs> that ought to kill at least 13 seconds. Right. <laughs> ah, ta-da. I must tell you, I have to be very careful with Arthur. He jumped off a stool in uh, Clacton. Clacton and fell into the orchestra pit. I did. Two people missed it and asked him to do it again. <laughs> I've still got the scar. Yeah. Would you like to see it? Not that kind of a show. Oh, that's it. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Well, walk this way. If I could walk that way, I wouldn't need the talcum powder. <laughs> well, it's the old jokes, folks. One of those jokes that you hear now and then, you don't know just where, and you don't know just when. One of those jokes that are older and men. One of those jokes you start telling again. It's one of those jokes that you hear for a while Comes in a fashion and goes out of style One of those jokes that you think you forgot One of those jokes you have not You're looking frisky and perky I should think so too Do you, Haven't you heard the news? No Read that telegram Stanley <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations Arthur on becoming the father of triplets Stinker <laughs> That's fantastic. It is, isn't it? You must be very happy. Oh, I am. Well, why don't you uh, sing a little song? Oh, I can't sing. Oh, you can't sing? No. Well, give us a little dance. I can't dance, either. You can't sing? You can't dance? What can you do? the customers buy. You don't know just how. And you don't know just why. What would the music hall have done without Irish jokes? Irish jokes? I know a lot of them. You do? I come from Liverpool, you know. Well done. I think my favourite one is about the fellow who went into a pub in Dublin and he ordered a Guinness. <laughs> and the bartender said, Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I can't serve you yet. We're not on for another 20 minutes. It's more than my licence is worth than to serve you now. Now, if you'll go and sit in the corner for 20 minutes, I'll serve you that. <laughs> would you like a drink while you're waiting? <laughs> Tell me, what is it, uh, five feet two, wears glasses and a dinner jacket, found upside down, floating in the Thames? Five feet two, wears a dinner jacket and glasses, found floating in the Thames. I don't know, what is it? An English comic who keeps telling Irish jokes. <laughs> works in the country, it works in the town. A nice recitation, that won't let you down. Once more in the breach, dear friends, once more. That was Henry V at Agincourt. Please, leave your boyhood memories out of this. <laughs> now, what we have done without political jokes? Ah, oh, the politicians, they're naturals, aren't they? Siddle Smith. Mm -hmm. You know Big Siddle. Very well. Very generous man. Do you know, he's just donated his string vest to the Grimsby fishing fleet. <laughs> How about James Callahan, a very generous man, decided to make Jack Jones a cardinal? Jack Jones a cardinal, why? This way, he only has to kiss his ring. <laughs> It's one of those wonderful jokes. Two, three, four. 